What up, Solid Steppers? What up, Tech the Tight? Shout out to my sisters, Tanzania, Imani, Candace, and Nikki. Let me tell y'all something. I got four sisters. Let me tell you, sisters is a whole different bag, y'all. I'm telling you. But I'm blessed. I want to send a shout out to them because just like I'm a phenomenal woman, each one of them are phenomenal in their own right, and I love and appreciate them. And let me get into the video. So today what I want to talk about is not just structure and planning, but reflection. You know, I talk a lot about reflecting and getting better. You know, I've been coaching a, a couple of my students and I was talking to a student today. He was extremely excited about his smart HQ. And he felt like in the beginning I was kind of clowning him about getting it. And now he's gotten it. And he just, he can't, he don't know what life looks like without it. He was so impressed. He felt like the ultra professional when he went in and installed the boards on a uh, dish shot washer. And then the dishwasher asked him to uh, rewrite the code or rewrite the board and things like that and update the software and he was able to explain it and walk through the process from his phone and tablet with the customer you know this is a guy that takes pride in what he does so you got to look in the mirror and say do you take pride in what you do are you willing to invest and learn how to use the tools when you buy them you know a lot of us you know me i'm guilty of it i buy a lot of tools and i never use them when i do i really don't know what the hell i'm doing See, I can own that because I'm always not only a work in progress, but I'm always next level. I ain't going to never apologize for being the best and working at being the best Rochelle I can be, the best Miss Ward I can be. You know, I suggest you do the same. I want you to take a moment before you start your week next week, and I want you to think about some of the things you don't have in your arsenal for success. One thing you should have in your arsenal for success that's very important is scheduling. Why is scheduling so important? Reflect on every ball that was dropped last week and how much of it had to do with how you scheduled and structured your business. Were you able to get to every customer on time or before time, which is a preference? And were you prepared when you got there with the tools, the service manuals, and what you needed to provide excellent service? Think about it. Just take a moment and think about that. I'm sorry, y'all. I got a text from one of my subs while I was in the middle of this. <coughs> Welcome to multi-level management and multi-area and regional management. It's never a dull moment. On a Sunday at, I don't know what time it is, but shit, I'm sure it's like four or five. But anyway, get back to the video. Um, next thing you want to do is look at the communication process with the customers. Our customers sending you text messages and, call and calls because you haven't updated on the parts, the arrival of the parts, rescheduling, things of that nature. I actually got a couple of texts today, and I'm going to respond. But, you know, sometimes when I've talked to customers and I've given them information and they forgot or overlooked it or they're not reading, the, reading it, it's a little irritating. So do you take the time to count to 10 or take a moment before you respond? See, some things we do are knee-jerk reactions because our emotions are involved. So you got to make sure that everything you do is a business decision and how it's going to affect your business. That's the first thing you want to know. You want to know, okay, if I do A, Y, X, Y, and Z, is this going to be a positive? Is this going to apply pressure? Is this going to be a downturn for the business? Am I going to lose money? Or is it money that I don't need anyway because all money ain't good money? You got to really kind of look at that because, you know, some people just piss you off without trying. And I try my best to avoid those customers because then I turn out to be the angry black woman. And I'm really not trying to be that. But there's some people and some choices people make just be like, really? Like, who raised your ass? You know what I'm saying? But the reality is you got to take the time and look at your business. And if you're having too many of those moments, then you need to adjust some things in your business. It ain't the customer. It's you. Do you have the buffers in place to protect yourself, protect the company, and protect your image? And that's just even dealing with regular people. I was just talking to my sister, and I was telling her how people be at my house when I ain't home because they know I don't like them like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
But it's okay though. I'm glad somebody that do. But they long as we clear. But the reason I'm like that is because I'm no nonsense. I'm not gonna fluff with you. I'm not gonna smile in your face. I'm gonna be straight and direct because you mean me no good. Every time you come around, it's a problem. So you know when you got situations, customer staff, people like that, you need to eliminate those situations. You are they already showed you who they are. And I, and I'm talking to y'all people with these employees that y'all put up with that is really causing you they not bringing enough money in or they, they, the return on investment ain't worth the drama think about that make the decision and let their ass go promote them to customer if you know like i know it might be a little tight but i'd rather be tight than than pissed on a regular basis clogging my arteries but like i said just review the business review the steps Make sure that all the parts you needed are there. Like, just take a moment, you know, take a moment. If you just take an extra, because what I do is, I'm going to tell you my secret. Because, you know, I'm one of the people, I, I get, I go off on a tangent in a minute. I get distracted. That's why I can't have social media on. I can't do none of that. I got to kind of, you know, have my productivity music going on. And I got to have a timer. So what I do is I work in 15-minute blocks. I turn my 15-minute time on, and my goal is to get as much done in those 15 minutes. And then when I don't get made done, I decide, okay, let me do another set of 15 minutes, and then I push to the next level or the next thing I need to do. The reason I do that is because we all need some type of structure how we move. So, like, I know I got some things I got to do. Like, right now, I'm headed to my home. And I got some uh, things that came in while I was out of town because, uh, you know, in the morning I'm in Naples. So I got to get some things tied up and then I start my week in Naples tomorrow and I'll end up in Alabama probably on Tuesday. But I'll be working my way up the coast. I, first I have Naples and then from Naples I'm going to Fort Myers. From Fort Myers I'm going to Land of Lakes. From Land of Lakes I'm going to Gainesville. From Gainesville, I'm going to be going to Alabama, and then from Alabama, Panama City or Crestview or something like that. This is the way I live my life. This is a choice. But it has been extremely profitable, eye-opening, and it keeps me on my toes. Everybody got a different way they do business. I chose to do mine this way because it's exciting, it keeps me on top of stuff, and it keeps me on my toes. Period. So with that said, y'all, take a moment to reflect, look on your business, look at your staff, look at yourself first, make sure you're in line before you start pointing damn fingers. Because a lot of times y'all got the staff or y'all got customers and you're not giving out enough information, you're not being upfront, you, you guessing, just tell people the truth. And if you don't know, please transfer it to somebody else. Don't muddy the waters. And that's something I, that's another thing, like with me. I was working on a dishwasher today and I had this leak and I just did not own, want to own the fact that this door was actually warped or damaged because I'm not familiar with that. You know, it wasn't sealing properly, changed the gaskets, that, 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 and I still had this little leak. Went to the bottom of the door, that seemed to be good. So, you know, it's just one of them situations. So I'm looking at the price of the door, I'm like, damn, I might as well get a brand new dishwasher because. The door almost costs as much as a damn new unit. But guess what? I didn't break it. It is what it is. I'm saying all that to say is you got to get out your own way. You got to understand that you are human in everything that you do, whether it's management, whether it's being a tech, be the best tech you can be. I mean, half the stuff is 99% of the stuff we do, we can repair, Real, really. If you put your mind to it, but you got to decide whether you want to do it and whether you want to do it half ass. Part of y'all problem is y'all so quick going in there putting a the cheap ass part and getting all the profit out and then walking away. Then get mad when you get a call back. You got to recall because you didn't double check your work. Prime example when I installed the gaskets on this unit, it was not leaking at all. When I secured it, it wasn't leaking. But I'm so damn anal. I ran this wash several times because I am one of the one, I am a person that if I get a recall, I'm going to be beyond pissed. Because I hold myself to a standard of checking and taking care of a customer's appliances the same way, in the same elite manner, I want my stuff handled. That's why when I go somewhere and the service sucks or there's an issue, 
And then, uh, you know, I just really, I'm just one of them people, I just don't do business with you when you come to the side, do you do that side stuff? And I watch people in the industry do some of the most unethical, um, half ass shady work. And then they sleep at night and you wonder why you can't get ahead. That's because instead of planting in fertile soil and doing the right thing, you too busy trying to do the right, the wrong thing to get over. And the only person you getting over on is you. Man up. Start doing some stuff by the book. Yeah, it's going to be hard at first. Yeah, you ain't going to see what you want to see. But the reality is, which one you going to be? You going to be the hustler your, all your life? Or you going to be the upstanding businessman and woman that God made you to be? And reap the benefits of that? It ain't going to be easy. Because it ain't going to come quick and easy. But if you are consistent and you actually level up at every step of the way and own your stuff, you're going to be successful. You can't help but be, because there's too many other clowns out here that are mediocre. So just a, a degree more of honesty, true, pure, wet work ethic, and blood, sweat, and tears will take you to the top. Trust me. Ask me how I know. All right, y'all. That's enough free game for the day. Be blessed. Like, share, and subscribe. And know if nothing else, nobody else don't love your ass, Miss Ward. Do I cuss you out, but I still love you like no other. Peace.